to St. Anthony's Lahore Kent to join online English class eight. <laughs> I would like to start with the prayer. Please close your eyes. Join your hands. Let's pray to God. And let on our minds we beseech thee, O Lord, by the light of your brightness, so that we may see and have the strength to carry out what is right and pleasing to thee. Amen. Peter, as you know, uh, this uh, coronavirus uh, atmosphere is going on and it is very, very important to take care. So for this reason, I would like to, I would like to request you please, See, watch it, adopt it, try to act upon the points, whatsoever that is being shown to you. This is very important. It's to be remembered, to be said. Okay. So now take the book. Our book name is Cambridge Global English, course book eight. And our unit is unit number two. And the title is E-Communication, page number 14. The title is E-Communication. For my dear students, before we come to understand what is E-Communication, I would like to <clears throat> Uh, tell you something about communication. <clears throat> First, the communication and then e communication. First of all, as you know, and this is the reality, and really, this is impossible to go through a day without communication, as I told you yesterday. So, everybody is in communication, and uh, uh, until he's not going to communicate with any person, he's unable to create a contact or to run business or to say something or to send a message or to receive a message. So then what is a communication? Communication is receiving and sending information between two or more people. Is it clear? Communication is? receiving and sending information between two or more people. And this information can be uh, whatever you will send, can be some facts, some ideas, uh, thoughts, opinions, instructions, even this can be your emotions. So if you have understood what is the communication, I would also like to tells you about the types of communication. There are three types of communication. Are you listening to me? My voice is coming to you, please. Please come up. Okay. There are three types. Number one, one is verbal. Number two is nonverbal. And number, uh, uh, number one is verbal, number two is nonverbal, number three is written. So what is verbal? Verbal communication is face-to-face -face talking. Face-to-face -face talking. Agar aap ek dusre ke saamne, aamne saamne bil mushafa jisko kehte hain, agar aap ek dusre se baat kar rahe hain, to wo aapki verbal communication hogi. Face-to-face communication is called your verbal communication number two non-verbal communication non-verbal communication includes your body language your uh, pleasant or unpleasant mood that can be your gestures that can be your signals 
as uh, I told you yesterday, as a, a person is standing at a distance, but you are unable to listen his voice. So how he would convey his message to you? He would pass a signal, okay? Or through his uh, body gestures, body uh, movements, you can understand what he wants to tell you to do. So this is your nonverbal communication. And then the third type is that's coming up is written. And that includes your symbols that are understood by sender and receiver. As I was telling to you that your alphabets, those are also your symbols. A, B, C, D, E, up to Z. Those are your symbols. And you use these symbols to write something. And your sentences are your uh, you know, graphics, text, video, and voice, or uh, what happens? So, then e-communication may kuch ye jo technology se related kuch devices se aap inko istemal karte hain, aur uske zriye jo communication ki jati hai, that is called your e-communication. So, in e-communication, a sender can send the information immediately, and receiver also has an opportunity. To reply at the same time. Agar ek shaks jo hai, wo uh, foreign isi ko koi information bhejta hai. To wo receiver jo hai, wo foreign usko receive karke. Agar wo chahe ki main abhi isko uh, jo hai, wo respond karu, uske paas ye puri opportunity hoti hai ki wo reply kar sakta hai. If you can hear me now and my screen is clear, please give a thumb up sign so may so that I may understand that everything is going on well. Next teacher. Okay. Let us see. E-communication. E-communication after e-communication, there is a uh, uh, C on your book, page number 14. There is written, <clears throat> are you a good communicator? communicator but before you analyze yourself as a good communicator or bad communicator this is important to know who can be a good communicator so there are some characteristics of uh, a good communicator teacher next slide for other the case of good communicator characteristics so <clears throat> Click again. Click again, please. No, backslide, please. I think that slides you're not having. Okay. So, are you a good communicator? Kya pick a chick communicator hand? A chick communicator ki kuch jo characteristics hai, wo me aap ke saath share karunga ta ki aap is tra, isko achi tra se samaj sake ki kacha communicator. Uh, who can be a Teacher, it's not. This is the advantage or disadvantage of mobile. You can take this previous slide. Pe le so, a good communicator is one of the things he is sincere. Sincere is with his communication. A good communicator a communicator, a good communicator always conveys a true last if any emergency situation happens like an accident or a car breakdown you can call for rescue or help so in this respect this device is really very very useful aapne dekha hoga ki aapki jo normal calls hain agar wo band bhi ho jaye to emergency calls jo hain wo on rehti hain 
और ये कनेक्शन कंटीन्यूसली आपको हेल्प करता है ख़ास तौर पर जो मोबाइल होल्डर है वो इसको इस्तेमाल करके इस तरह की एमरजेंसीज में वो अब दूसरों से जो रेलिवेंट लोग होते हैं उनसे हेल्प ले सकता है टीचर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज ओके हियर आर टू मोर एडवांटेजेस डेटा ट्रांसफर एट द करंट एज विद द मोबाइल फोन यू डू नॉट हैव टू सेंड योर credentials video photos or even documents through the post office anymore aapko post office nahi jana padega ye sari cheeze bhejne ke liye with a few button presses or screen touching your data transfer will be sent and received within a few seconds across the globe aap duniya mein kahin bhi sirf baithe baithe aap ek button dabane se aap ye sara kuch bhej sakte hain you are aware of all these things already various utilities you can pay utility bills pay fee vouchers to send your capital from one place to an other aap capital yani paise money sarmaya aap ek jagah se dusri jagah bhej sakte hain these these are the advantages so now see uh, what are the disadvantages of uh, the same device if this device is providing you some advantages as well as and parallel to this it is having also some disadvantages please please next slide <clears throat> Now see here these advantages isolation as a true mobile phone make people connected and the word <clears throat> last teacher okay and the word small village but if not used carefully beta aap har ek cheez ka istemal jo hai wo aap par base karta hai आप उसको केयरफुली करते हैं या केयरफुली नहीं करते बट इफ नॉट यूज केयरफुली इट कैन आइसोलेट यू फ्रॉम फैमिली एंड पीपल अराउंड यू तो ये आपको आपकी अपनी फैमिली से और आपको अपने ही लोगों से आपको डिसकनेक्ट कर देता है आप उनसे बिल्कुल सेपरेट हो जाते हैं सो so ये सबसे बड़ी बल्कि मैं तो ये कहूँगा कि समटाइम्स वी कम टू सी आर रिलेटिव हम उनके घर में आकर भी उनसे मिलने के लिए आते हैं मगर हम उन्हीं का नेट जो है वो इस्तेमाल करना शुरू कर देते हैं एक जगह पर बैठ जाते हैं आते हैं उसके बाद फिर चले जाते हैं सो दिस इज आइसोलेशन ओके हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम कांस्टेंट वर्क इन द शार्प लाइट ऑफ लैपटॉप और मोबाइल फोन्स बिकम्स कॉज ऑफ आई कैंसर स्लीपलेसनेस एंड कॉजेज क्रॉनिक फिटिंग ड्यूरिंग द डे और ये ये तमाम चीज़ें जो हैं वो आपकी हेल्थ के खिलाफ जाती हैं और ये आपको हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करती है वो भी छोटी छोटी नहीं है बड़ी बड़ी हैं जस्ट लाइक आई कैंसर स्लीपनेस बिजनेस है क्रॉनिक फिटिंग है एक्सेट्रा एंड नेक्स्ट इज बेटा लॉस ऑफ मेमोरी इसके डिसएडवांटेज में कॉन्स्टेंट एंड स्पेशली मिस यूज ऑफ फोन इज डेफिनेटली अ बिग लॉस ऑफ तो इसका प्रॉपर लगातार इस्तेमाल और फोन का मिसयूज यकीन ये आपको नुकसान देता है खास तौर पर आपको लॉस ऑफ मनी आपके पैसे का जो है वो नुकसान होता है ये सबसे अहम डिसएडवांटेजेस में से एक है आई डू होप दैट यू वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड ईच एंड एवरीथिंग स्पेशली एडवांटेजेस रिगार्डिंग डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड एडवांटेजेस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज स्पीकिंग बेटा स्पीकिंग जो पॉइंट है टीचर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज स्पीकिंग इज एक्चुअली दैट योर प्रैक्टिस इट इट विल हेल्प यू टू इम्प्रूव योर स्पीकिंग पार ओके आई कॉन्ट हेयर योर वॉइस सर माई वॉइस इज क्लियर बेटा Okay now yes, listen my voice is coming to you hello yes sir i can hear 